characters going in the second part is did you ever dream when you wrote the first one that it would be this big books out? <laughs> well, it'll go until I'm like 95. <laughs> 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 Actually, I, um, I had a discussion with my editor while I was in New York, and, um, and I said, you know, probably the arc, you know, the main arc that's going through the series, we've sort of got to the end of one and we're starting the new one. I think it's going to be three or four books before we get to the end, end of the Basically. I said three or four because I like to give myself a little wiggle room just in case. But um, and then I kind of said that's where you'll get that <sighs> feeling, you know, like okay, we've, it's the end of the act kind of thing. But after that's done, and you know, if you're only reading the series for the political stuff, I think you'll be really satisfied and you can stop. But I would like to do what I call tangent books. Um, I don't call them spin-offs because I kind of think spin-off is like you kind of go up in a whole completely separate mm -hmm. place and I like to, I'd like to still be connected to my the people we already know so but go into a new er area of the world or characters or places that we weren't able to explore in the main storyline so a possibility here is to do the Falcons mm -hmm. um, yeah. I originally <laughs> thought they would be in this act the coming act but I realized that if you go into the Falcons, you're sitting a whole new cast, basically. And I'm not sure how well that would work in terms of the storylines we already have going on. Um, so it's still, I mean, I've got the idea still, and I've got a few chapters drafted, but I'm thinking that most likely they'll be going after the, you know, after the main act is finished, then we'll go to see them. And, you know, there's all these little aspects haven't really seen there's the human alliance um you'll be seeing a little bit more of them because with the final arc thing you'll all the threads are sort of coming together um and you start to see that in the next book and there's a lot of a lot of things happening in the next book <laughs> yeah okay who, who had the hand No, 
know that those of us are friends are like, okay, what's next? Well, the next one? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've announced it. We've announced it. It's, um, yeah. Adria. It's a Riaz, is the next book, the lieutenant in the Snow Dancer pack, and Adria, who is Indigo's aunt that you meet in Plan Passion. That's going to be interesting, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be interesting. I have I have these conversations inside my head where it goes, Adrian, what are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> 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 I don't know what are you doing? <laughs> um, so is Caleb gonna have a book or is that like the ultimate, you know? Well if I told you that I you'd know. know if he was a good guy or a bad guy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know he's evil, right? <laughs> Well, it's kind of relates to how you, your process is, and with you saying that you're not exactly a planner, but do you have like a massive series Bible so you can keep track of everything that? I have I have a continuity Bible, so mm -hmm. that's the details. I keep track of all the details. So this includes simple things like eye color, hair color, um, height, age, anything like that. You know, real time mm -hmm. detail. And then I also keep a massive timeline because. Mm -hmm. um, I keep dual timelines. I keep a timeline for each book, and then I keep a timeline for the series. So, for example, something that goes through the series would be Cycle's Pregnancy. You know, so they would be on the main timeline, so I can make sure it's correct. And thank God, because I almost made her eleven months pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> I was just writing away, and I thought, oh, you know, I'm going to move this thing two months. It wasn't like a big thing. I just thought, I'll just shift it a little, it'll just be a little bit more cushion. <laughs> and I thought, hey, Sasha hasn't had her baby yet. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe her will imagine, you know, she decides that she'll be pregnant for eleven months. <laughs> um, no, I, I caught it, I caught it in the end of the draft, but that's why uh, you need the you need the major timeline because of those events that go across books. And there's a lot of things in the series that go Cross books rather than just within a book, um, and so as simple as Sienna's age, you have to keep track of that, or Toby's age, you know, all the children. You, you yeah, keep referencing their ages, but you don't reference the old, like Clay and. How do those talk? Yeah, simply so ages you know, and You know, that's that's a, that's a really funny thing. I didn't realize I hadn't put his age in there because it was so obvious to me that it's one of those things that I read, a, I read a thing that said a couple books ago he was 34. He so was 32 like and caressed 30, by us. Yeah. So he's like 33 points. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think exactly on my timeline. Well, he's, he's not 30, 34 yet, so he's maybe a few months before 34. Because what I do when I have a character is that each have birthdays. That's the easiest way to keep track of, is to make sure they each have a birthday. So. That's what I go back to. I go back to my character sheet and look at the birthday and work it out. But um, yeah, sorry about that. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, because all the reference to silver yeah. hair and like, is he 45? No. Is he? <laughs> <laughs> I had mentioned it impressed my eyes and so I thought, oh, everybody knows. But of course, you know, that was like seven books ago. Yeah. And even though for me it's really clear, you know, I didn't realize that I hadn't put it in. So that was, that was a mistake or an oversight. And probably I'll mention it in the next book just to you know, settle people's minds so they know. And talking about things I overlooked, after Angel Blood came out, I started getting all these emails. Anybody want to know what they wanted to know? Yes. yes. Okay. Can you oh, guess? No. Can you guess? In Angel Blood? Oh, old. No, I got asked how they put their shirts on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I explained it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
unfortunately, she's been reading me too long now, and she can read my mind. And so, um, <laughs> you need a fresh person. Yeah, you need a fresh person. I should have a beta reader contest there. Oh, you don't know who you're responsible <laughs> you'll, you'll start to get an email like, have you, which chapter are you on? Have you read this part yet? What did you think? I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you my email. Yeah, so, um, it's quite funny, yeah. So, so yeah, the age thing, I, I will clear that up. But he, he's, somebody said to me, is he like 48? And I was like, oh, that's 